Hey guys, Glenn and Mike here, and we're going to come at you with one last devotional. So I'm going to read a verse from 2 Peter today, share a few thoughts, and then Michael will wrap us up. So 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 9 says, The Lord is not slow in keeping his promise, as some understand slowness. Instead, he is patient with you, not wanting anyone to perish, but everyone to come to repentance. So today I've just been thinking about the promises of God, and then I came upon this verse about his promises, and been thinking about how we do see the fulfillment of some promises, and there are other promises that we're still waiting on, and we're still waiting on and we're still waiting on, and they seem to take forever. And uh, it's kind of exactly what this is saying about the, the seemingly slow, slowness of God's promises to come to pass. And just personally for me, I'm in a place where this is very stark in my life. Uh, so if you didn't know, I just had a beautiful little baby girl on Sunday, little, little Junia. It's Jess and I's uh, first first child and um, it is amazing and tiring and and all of that and uh, in a lot of ways it is a promise fulfilled in both of our lives something that we've uh, dreamed about and yearned for and uh, it's pretty amazing and uh, at the same time there's some other uh, big aspects of my life um, that are, are very much not fulfilled uh, I'm very much still waiting for specifically with my health also I'm sure most of you know that I've dealt with chronic Lyme disease for uh, almost 11 years now and um, sometimes it is extremely frustrating sometimes debilitating um, and it is just a waiting game for for years and years what I love about this verse is that when it seems like the promises of God are slow in coming, this verse reminds us that God is doing something, maybe something that we, we don't expect. First of all, it's not slow to God. He has a different timetable than us. That's the verse right before this. It says that one day is like a thousand years and a thousand years are like a day. So to God, it's like he just made the promise of healing, say in my life, yesterday. That's what it's like to God, and in his mind, this is not slow at all. And I know uh, sometimes to me that's actually not encouraging. It's like, okay, but for me, it's a long time still. <laughs> like, I know it's not slow to you, but I like how the rest of this verse follows it up. It, sa it says, instead, he's patient with you, not wanting anyone to perish, but everyone to come to repentance. And what, what I get from that is that, a lot of times God allows the promises to be slow in coming so he can do something in our hearts, so he can heal us on the inside more, so he can strengthen us on the inside more, and so he can bring the greatest amount of people to salvation, the, the greatest amount of people to maturity. God has this big plan that he's working with. And even when our promises seem like they're a long time in coming, this verse reminds us that God's doing something very good in the meantime, and we can trust in his character. We can trust that he doesn't want anyone to perish, and he wants people to continue to turn to him, continue to mature and grow up in love. So that's my encouragement for the day. And uh, what do you got, Mike? Yes, that was a perfect one. Uh, so like Glenn said, this is the last daily morning devotion. A couple of reasons. Um, it's almost the month of June, and when we decided to do these, uh, we maybe thought it was going to be for a few weeks, a month. So two and a half months of this, seems like it's time to pause. Just in talking with Glenn, it felt like God was wanting us to pause and prepare for what's next. We're not sure what's next, but it seems like we're moving into new phases of this thing. So we want to be ready for that. And so the, um, the arrival of the month of June and the arrival of Junia seems like a good time to pause and give Glenn a little bit of a breather um, on that. So we don't know what's next, but I am 
to have so much gratitude for people that have watched. I mean, it just has been encouraging to do this together, um, but especially for this guy. I'm so grateful because he's carved these out. He's uh, invited a lot of different voices in and helped them shape you know, one of these five minute devotionals and he's put a lot of work into this. So you should be grateful for Glenn because I am. And join us in praying for what's next. I think we're, we got our ears open and our eyes on Jesus as he leads us into these new stages. So yeah. Hey, can I say one more thing? I will allow that. <laughs> uh, hey, it's been super fun to do. Um, but also these are all still on the Radiant Instagram account and the Radiant YouTube account. So if you missed some, we have two and a half months worth of, of video devotionals. That's mm -hmm. part of the beauty of it. So feel free to go back and watch ones that you've missed. Mm -hmm. So, which will last them all, all the way to August. Yeah, you just double, double do it. Do it again. Yeah. Cool. Love it. See you guys. Bye.